How does anybody get through the other side of that, man? I mean, it was uncharted territory for sure for me. Who am I? Wow, that's, you know, a song from Les Miserables. But, uh, I'm an old lady, man. I'm trying to keep moving. An artist and a fishing guide and a hoarder. I'm a lot of things. I don't even, I don't, that's why I go fishing, so I don't have to think about who I am. I live in the Adirondacks and I live in Wilmington, New York, which is where Whiteface Mountain is. Classic story, I followed a, a guy, I followed Jeff up here. He grew up south of here a couple, three hours, and it was always his dream to live here. So he came up here and I was living in New York, actually, in Brooklyn, trying to be an artist. And I would visit up here. And then eventually I just said, all right, I'm gonna give it a shot. Didn't take long to say, wow, this is pretty awesome here. So that was uh, 30 years ago. I mean, let's face it, bad shit happens to everybody, right? So I had a little bit of a run in. Eventually, uh, I got cancer. Uh, it was called primary retroperitoneal mucinous cystadenocarcinoma, right? Like, like the insurance people didn't even know what it was. So we just decided to do like a really strong chemo and sort of see what happened. And it fucking worked, man. I mean, in the realm of the world, not a bad thing because uh, two years later, uh, Jeff got cancer. And he got, uh, you know, everything that's bad about cancer happened to him. My cancer was like a hangnail compared to what happened to him. And, and unfortunately, you know, it didn't go well for him. It was maybe five, six months and then he died. I think even before Jeff, I don't know if I was thinking about mortality so much, but specifically with him, that just came and knocked the wind right out of you, you know? Like, and the fact that he didn't get to do some of the things he wanted to do really made me see like, you know, life is short. Maybe you should do those things that you're sort of putting off. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Argentina, man. Oh, yeah. oh. Albert. A Chalbert. I think we just Good named Chalbert. a new fly Chalbert. Schmutz. That's Schmutz. You never have any. Say Schmutz. 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 Schmutz on fly. your fly, man. Schmutz on your fly. Get that Schmutz off my fly. Damn, this is sick. Jeff would throw up if he saw this camp. It's so over the top. So all of the beautiful people I'm surrounded by. This country is unbelievable. You guys are amazing. Look, I am. Salut. Great day. <laughs>
Great choice. It's very special, blending as one more person in the team, right? With that attitude and that spontaneous way of living the life and, and sharing the moments out there. I've traveled with, you know, three millennials and me. I could be your grandmother, right? I fucking loved it. I mean, I felt, you know, really young, you know, here. I call it 25. <laughs> Most beautiful dorados. Yeah. Yeah. Muy lindos dorados, 12, de 12 yeah. y 10 kilos yeah. en Escorza Cuesta. Las yeah. ganas de volver cuanto antes. Dorado fishing is a full-time job. And it's, but it's great. It's like, you know, a drug. You definitely, you want more of it immediately. It is crazy. I mean, the, the strikes are just overwhelming. It's like they come from nowhere. Oh, the Dorado hunting the, the one Sábalo, or is a lot of Sábalo under? Power they have once you hook them on, uh, the jump, seeing again the gold in, in the air, the color is just crazy. No crying now. Is that the biggest fish you've That's ever caught? That's the biggest caught? fish I've ever caught, yeah. There's no question. The strongest fish I've ever. I am shaking, I'm shaking. I'm like, I'm going, good thing I went to the bathroom earlier because, uh, Dude, I was that tall. Sure. The rich get rich and the poor get poorer. In the meantime, in between time, ain't we got fun? Life is unbelievable right now. I'm like, um, <laughs> mic drop. I 
I don't think it gets easier after you lose somebody. I think it just gets different. Don't you remember how you used to say you'd always love me in the same old way? Some days you're strong, some days you're not so strong. I really saw the importance in like doing some of the things that you might not think were possible. Taking time to like say, okay, and time is precious, you know, and I'm gonna be a little more conscious on how I spend it. Though we're miles apart After you've gone And left me crying You gotta have hope, and hope is always not just sitting there being, like, thankful, but getting off your ass and trying to make things better. You feel sad You miss the bestest pal you ever had. There'll come a time